so I have some scrap wood for this project and I made a rail that fits in the miter slot of my table saw. Here I'm just countersinking and adding some screws to it after I glued it. What I do, my procedure is, I put some pennies in the slot, or nickels, just enough to raise the rail above the surface of the table saw. And then I put a little glue on it and I set my fence up to where I want the board. And I put the board against the fence and down on the table and I usually set something heavy on it. And here I am just screwing it in to make it more permanent. And that'll get us started with our jig. Now that we've got the rail on, what we're going to do is raise the blade up just to be above the scrap wood. And we're going to trim off the one end. That's going to give us uh, an end that's square to the blade. Now that we have that end square with the blade, we're going to trim off the end. So I'm going to raise the blade up to cover the whole scrap and the rail. And I'm just going to trim off the ends. It doesn't really matter for this jig because it's not about being perfectly square. Uh, but, you know, you want to make it look semi-nice. I mean, after all, you're probably going to use it more than once. So, there we go. Boy, that Craig stop is giving me issues. <laughs> Just got in my way. But it's a pain in the butt to remove, so. I have a T-slot router bit, and you could just cut a dado and put a T-track in and screw it down, but I have a T-slot router bit, so I don't have to buy a whole bunch of T-track. I make a lot of jigs. So what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting like a 3 8 inch groove just to hog out some of the material to make the router bit uh, have it easier. I'm going to do two passes. I'm going to do one you know, a little down and one farther down just in case I use larger material for my half circles. Then I'll take it over to the router table and cut the slots. So I've lined up my slot cutter a bit and now I'm going to push it through the router cutting out a T-slot for the first one. Voila! So I lined up the fence for my second cut, and here we go making the second T-track slot. I made a knob out of MDF scrap, and I just cut a quarter inch hole in it, and then I chiseled out for the nut. So I put some super glue on the nut, and uh, or CA glue, sorry, I can't say super glue, this is YouTube. And uh, now I'm screwing in my piece that I want to cut. I'm getting it directly up against the blade at a 90 degree angle. And I'm screwing it tight. And you want it to be right up against the blade. Because this way, when you start, you can make a, a good circle. So here goes the first pass, and we're going to do the one side. And you see that I just keep sliding the piece in a half circle all the way around and keep chopping until I get the circle cut out or at least a pretty good approximation of a circle you know the sander will do the rest but this will get that side now we reset it and then do the other side works pretty good I, I did put washers in between the board and the jig and also the nut. So how I mark this is if you have an inch and a half board, you mark 75 in from one side and 75 down from the top and that'll give you your center point and you just make your quarter inch drill bit if you're using quarter inch or however you want to do it. I like quarter inch and this will give you a nice half round. <laughs> 